us what you got. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get that chase from the get go, okay? Since this will not be a lengthy video as is. Greetings and salutations, everyone. And welcome back to Invisible Let's Play the Project. I am your host, Invisible from Invisible's Gaming Channel. The stage of the stage is giving voice for the voiceless. And this shall be the continuation and the final video, hopefully, for Project Let's Play Destroy All Humans 1 for the PC. Last time, we collected all the possible probes around the main areas and we had to stop by the last area, the capital city. Hopefully today, I'll be finishing off capital city and its uh, probes. Then we will be showcasing all the artwork from the mothership. And that will be literally it, because there's nothing else to show off in this game. With that being said, let's play peace be upon all of my subscribers and commentators, for us fans and friends, everyone from the beasts of the other empire and everyone from the Discord server, free YouTube friends by name, peace be upon, Thunderstruck Gaming, B809 Gaming, Marcus, Retro Crash, Mark XC, Double Y, Rogue Agent, Caro, Dan, Cryfield, ZPT123, Matthew, Elevin, Toronto, Sagata, Holy T5, Bob Express, Parfan28, Sawai, and the Scorby, Crazy Dragons, 412, Heavy Metal Driver, 6 Success, and Torsco. With that said, let's go to the gameplay screen. And once again, since this is an offline video, just like the previous part, we will be jumping from one. Um, probe harvester point to the other one between each one will be a pause so that i can go and check out the guide i am uh, following for the sake of completing everything and since technically in the game i only have the last 10 left we'll just be visiting the rest of the areas with the probes just to make sure you collected them all. We will go through Capital City from the get-go instantly, since the game will spawn us directly on the sorcerer's landing space. We already have discovered uh, this area in the last video, but let's just get done with it, okay? I truly wanted to have all the probes from the get-go innocently, but I couldn't do that because um, I got too tired watching both uh, the guide videos and following it at the same time. Not even joking, last time, last time I began recording on uh, 10 p.m. 10 a.m. in the evening and I stopped recording, I think, at uh, 2 a.m. Why? Because I had multiple breaks and I had to take care of some stuff offline. Most likely that's why I got to so tired while uh, recording, whatever. So we'll go straight ahead to capital city. Since it's uh, literally our last location, collect the last 10 probes here, but also I'll be showing you the locations for all the probes. Let's finish this game once and for all. Permanently. Am I going to replay this game in the future? Not likely. Because I already collected myself all the upgrades and now all the probes, I'm leaving very little reason to continue playing it after this. So, let's get moving. Uh, probe number one is 
at the location to our right oh, side what? with the building Hello. with the dome above it. Right here. What we need to care about is not the disgusting looking statue, but the area above it. Because here should be the first probe harvest. Let's go to number two. In order to reach number two, we'll need to find the building with the protest in the front of it. Take the statue here as your uh, landmark and go forward. There. See, in the front of the statue, exactly. Go forward here. The uh, protest. It's at National Statistical Reserve. The probe should be here. Number three. Alright, now you remember for number three, do you still remember the cast mission where we needed to massacre all the needless uh, senators, correct? It's right in the, in the area. The probe should be above this here. The gate with the flowers around it. And that takes place in the front of this area, which I don't really know the name of. But it's a very big area where you had previously to kill all the senators inside of it. The probe is above this gate. I'm getting really sick of all the references the game keeps throwing at me. Okay, number four is where. To reach number four, we'll pay a very quick visit to the very area where we just now spoke about. Go forward to this area here. The front gate and go right. The probe should be here. We already collected it in the last video. Okay, number five right now. We'll go forward from this very area here. Main gate. Pick this military uh, equipment as your landmark. Start skating. You see this uh, challenge right here? The resistance challenge, ignore it. You'll go forward from it. The electrical um, generator here. Go to uh, its right. And the probe should be above this veranda here. Next. Okay, the next one here, you will get out of this area. Make sure the Tesla generator there is to your left side. You will go forward to the sorcerer's landing area, landing zone, and take a right. The probe should be here in the front of you. Next. Okay, the next probe, you have the crypto stand right here in the front of the saucer's landing zone you go forward here make the uh, military equipment to your left and jump over the railing here skate up to this area the probe should be in a basketball game zone right here space invaders the probe should be right here next Next the probe, you can leave the basketball uh, game here, forward to the saucers' uh, landing zone, fast out a little bit here, you will find the right here, in the alleyway here. Next. For the next one, you keep walking straight here from the location we were just at, jump over this or walk around to the channel here, keep on moving. The next probe should be here, at this corner. Next. To reach the 10th probe, we jump over this area here, the building. Jump again with your jetpack over this building here. And then jump over the main street to the next block here. 
make sure that you can see uh, Majesty, uh, Majesty V and also uh, Davdri from here, okay? And you take a left here. There's a guy with his car down there. Your probe should be above the garage, right here. Guess I'm just a little chubby. Next. Okay, next stop. You jump from above the garage from the get-go. Uh, back to the main street right here. It's literally where we were at uh, at the moment right now. We literally just jumped over this building here, walked on this building there. It's still Majesty B and uh, Dan the Free there. We jumped there and went to the garage there. We just go back here, backward. Okay. And you look for the one with the prince. I was looking for is atomic bombing feel on top of the world is uh, yours. And I want you to the for the army. Go through this little door. It should be here. Next. Okay, uh, now for the probe number 12. Where you are at that now, you walk backward, you see here the um, cargo. Jump over this wall. Make sure the parking gear stop is in the front of you. Take a right. And walk in a S style here. Make vision the electrical uh, shop to your right and start here moving once you reach uh, best cars in town one thousand dollars at best price your probe should be here i'm not dying here while i'm clicking my probes Next. Now reaching number 13, we will have to go for the white circus. You see this area here? The red building? You jump just back to it to get more height. Jump at it again, right here. Jump over the other building here. When you can see the red sign there, uh, Finish station, whatever the thing is, and sunset with the golden ball there above uh, the building. You jump, you take a skate start and jump, double jump with your jetpack to the white circus. You see now the uh, flag, you go down in the front of it, the prop should be here. Next. For number 14, number 14, make sure the flag is to your right side here, and then put it to your uh, uh, back. We're jumping to the building with the two towers and the two circular um, windows. Jet, uh, slide the... Uh, your slide skate starter, and you will land on the right side here. The probe should be here. Next. Now, number 15. Probe 15. Um, make sure that uh, this area here is your right side, the tower, and jump to the building with the multiple flagpoles here. And go to the corner in the front of you. The probe should be here. Next. Next one, turn around 180 degrees exactly and right in the front of the red uh, mark here, a uh, Fink list station, whatever this thing is. Just double jump here, just pack it, go to the ground. Space I'm getting sick of this line. It will be right here. Hairless hamsters from space. Next. 
for number 17 where we are at the moment right here the problem is right here by the way you will jump above the cinema the capital cinema jump above this here look at your right it's up there above the wind cleaner uh, elevator since i didn't yet collect it you can see it right now good next now for number 18 number 18 you will take a look behind you at sunset you see the, the the light the neon light here you will jump and fly to it make it sure that it's to your right side here look at the left side and walk to the other um, wind washing uh, left it's in the front of you right here take it easy done next for number 19 now 19 you will again double jump here jet back it to the top of the building if you can you see the flag poles here good make sure they are to your left and your back walk forward it's right in the front of you jet back to it take it easy collect next okay for the next one we only have the last 10 by now um okay at the very area we stop that jump to the street level uh, hello ah, run for your life body snap it's hurting just move on and you will find it straight under the little uh, dome here your landmarks are the saucer uh, landing zone and the Tesla thingy here. That's it. Next. Okay, next one here is to the 21st one. Get out of here and go back to the red areas here. The red neon signs. Make sure that uh, Wolf, uh, Ostrid, or whatever this thing is. The three of them are to the right side. Keep on moving. The next probe is right in the front of your face. Next. Uh, number 22. Spin 180 degrees here. You see the flags here? Good. And the red sign. Slide. Into the parking area. Continue on forward. It's in the front of you, not behind the reading here. Not behind this. Next. Reaching number 23 will be a little bit of a trip. What will we do? Okay. Um. Go back. We'll need to go back to the main street. I told you, it will be a trap a little bit. If I can still... Uh, if I can get rid of these annoying idiots! Basically, we'll go back to the park. I did say it will be a little t trip there. There you go. You see the, here the military equipment? Good. And the area here to your right. Keep on moving. I need uh, easier to know. Uh, the statue with the horse. I want landmarks, landmarks. Go in the front of the National Statistical Reserve. Okay, here. You have to the left side a saucer landing zone. 
You can see the white circus from uh, your left on side with the big tower thingy. I'm not American, so don't really know what I'm talking about here. Anyway, the prop is right here. Next. As for number 24, it's actually literally in the front of you here. Just jump over the bush and go through this area here. Jump on the stairs, that's it. Let's go for number 25. Alright, reach number 25 right now. You will take a look at your right side here. Make sure that this last stuff is to your right side here. We're going to move in the front of the checkpoint. If you can perhaps take yourself a uh, disguise would be better. Compromise the lie. If not, it really doesn't matter at all. Just move it. Just move on above the stupid bridge here. You will jump here straight to this area. The probe is in the front of you. The bridge is to your left right now. There you go. Next. Next up, look to your right side, you will find the area where we fought the final boss fight of the entire game. Go forward here. You remember when we fought Silhouette, correct? You will jump over this here. The probe should be above this trash dump. Next. Next probe is right here. Take a right, take a right and walk by the wall here. Good. The probe is in the front of you right here. I already connected it while fighting with Servant. Next up. Move uh, back to the main building. We already created this also. When we came here to, for the fight. You will find the probe above this door right here. Next. Okay, the probe is actually supposed to be... Yeah, above this very door. Next up, a probe. Walk forward here to the edge on the floor. And you will find it again, another one we already collected. Above this area here, above the digging machine here. I'm getting sick of this here. Okay. Next. Okay, the next one is literally the last probe in the entire game. Let's see if I'm, if I'm not mistaken here. From this very area, you will uh, get out. Right there. Uh, make sure the saucer's uh, landing location is to your left side. Jump over this area here. You'll see here a little kind of farm. It's right here. Done. 30 out of 30. So, let's go back to the mothership first and foremost. Now, let me ask you, why would you need to collect all of these probes exactly? Well, glad you asked, it's because... Okay, so we have here... Uh, 
turnip uh, seed turnip seed farm has 25 probes rockwell has 30 santa Modesta has 50 area 42 has 24 union town has 25 capital city has 30 if every if every single uh, probe harvest has 100 dna points for you pair one let me see here 25 plus 30 plus 50 plus 24 plus 25 plus 30 make that's 184 probes all in all now take 184 probes times 100 because all of uh, each one of them gives you 100 dna points that's 140 uh, 184 times 100 yeah your result is 18,000 400 DNA points sounds good but not only that not only do once you 100% all your probes do you get 18,400 um, DNA points but also the main game for us in this uh, recording is in the archives at the moment i have 65,300 dna points mind you did you want a saucer upgrade or something a little more personal mm. i already have purchased all the upgrades for uh, crypto here since I can still see the cost for them, let me quickly um, calculate how much uh, money we need for this. If we know by now that we need 18,400 for, for everything here, let's see. 1,500 plus 1,000 plus 2,500 plus 1500 plus 3500 plus 2250 plus 1000 plus 2000 plus 5,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 6,000 plus 250 plus 500 Plus five uh, seven fifty. Add uh, twelve hundred fifty. Add one thousand. Add uh, twenty five hundred. Add two thousand. Plus five thousand, 
plus 4,000. Plus 1,000. Plus uh, 1,500. Add 2,000. Add 1,000. 2,000. Add 2,000. 3,000. Three thousand, four thousand, five hundred, and two thousand, and one thousand, uh, three thousand. Three thousand, four thousand. Finally, here add two thousand plus one twelve hundred fifty at three thousand. Two hundred twenty five hundred. Add four thousand and add five thousand. All of crypto's personal upgrades would require you twenty million ninety five thousand two hundred and fifty DNA points. Okay, twenty million. 295,250. Now let's add this score to the sorcerer's upgrades. I'm not starting a new one. Plus 750. Plus again 750. Plus twelve hundred and fifty. Add twelve hundred fifty. Add seventeen hundred fifty. Add seventeen hundred and fifty again. Add twelve hundred fifty. Seventeen hundred fifteen, seventeen hundred fifty. Sorry, uh, twenty two hundred fifty. Seven hundred fifty. Uh, One thousand two hundred and fifty. Seventeen hundred fifty. Fifteen hundred, one thousand and a half. Twenty-two hundred fifty. Two thousand. Two thousand seven hundred fifty. Two thousand five hundred. Three thousand two hundred fifty, the thirty two hundred fifty, okay, plus uh, twelve hundred fifty, twelve hundred fifty, seventeen hundred fifty, seventeen hundred fifty. Plus uh, twenty two hundred fifty. 
plus 2250. And I said literally it because we will go back to the D3 by this point. The final price for every single upgrade in Fox's lab for both the saucer and crypto at the same time is drum roll uh, 20 million a hundred thirty six thousand and five hundred DNA points in order for you to purchase all the upgrades as Pox unlocks them for you you will need 20 million 136 thousand and 500 DNA points to purchase everything now let's go back to the record for ourselves in the game go to the archives show me our envision report the DNA we collected so far is 203,800 somehow how much they need did we spend exactly? We said just right now it's a 20 million. Let's see here. Cows abducted 85. DNA collected 203,800. Funeral probes 191. Hours played 19 hours. Humans destroyed 4,886. Civilians terrorized 809. Farmers erased 110. Cops abdicated 623. Soldiers snuffed out 2,060. Agents annihilated 1,071. Mutants wiped out 26. Tanks demolished 146. A power suit exploded 25. Meat bags uh, zapped 495. Undesirable disintegrated 125. Uh, Meat bags uh, zapped 495. Undesirables uh, disintegrated. 125 test subject probed 390 bystander detonated 881 sorry mammals irradiated uh, from above 216 unfortunate uh, sound blasted 40 74 uh, primates uh, deconstructed 30 uh, vertebrate toast 113 Mine's blown 4201. I think if you were to collect, to combine all of these, you will get the 20 million, maybe. I'm not really sure. Anyway, in order for us to finish this video, the last thing you need to f look at would be the few runny gummy. This is why we collected all the probes in the first place. Time to check the artwork. This is the concept art for the, I think, average farmer house. Good. This will take us one by one. Next up is a Blue Moon Drive-In Cinema. Plan 9 from Outer Space, now playing. And obviously, everyone in here is not here for the sake of the cinema, but rather for the sex within the cars. I showed you before Crypto and his jetpack. Yeah, somehow it gets to work and function, I'm not really sure how. Uh, next up here is uh, another farmer building with the storage unit behind it. I think this is maybe the weight storage, I'm not really sure to have much experience in this thing. Next up would be the our cursed home, planet Earth, and uh, another one here. Maybe this is Mars, I'm not really sure. Next up is the concept art for the probe harvest itself.
this one's this thing was supposed to collect for you the DNA po uh, points from the humans. I think that this one here is just a prototype for it. Next up is your country uh, fresh market, farmer's market, concept art. Next is the farmer's docks. Very typical, very uh, simple. Alongside with the prototype version for it in the upper corner. Here we have, uh, I think, a view from the inside of the battleship. Next up will be this area here. Another farmer's house, a typical uh, wood and uh, I think steel, maybe I'm not too sure what this roof is made of. The prototype for it is on the corner. Next up, another uh, house model. Maybe it's a house, maybe, maybe it's the stable for the cattle, I'm not really sure what, which one, whatever. Next up here, the prototype to your uh, corner, the farmer standing in the front of the chicken coop. I've seen plenty of these to know what they are. Next up, I think this is the stable for the horses, even though we didn't see any of them at all. Next up here is your uh, beloved uh, saucer. I think this is... I'm not sure this is your saucer, honestly, because it's much, it looks much more... Is this maybe the mothership saucer? Not really sure. But it's a saucer. Maybe this is the saucer of uh, Crypto 136, your predecessor? Not really sure. They don't really aim there. This here is another area of the saucer. Graphics wise. This here is uh, a building, maybe a cathedral, not really sure. Whatever. Maybe the mayor's building, not really sure. I don't have much experience in the Western world, okay? I'm Canadian, not American. Some storefront models, fashion square, whatever. The Ferris wheel. You know by now, really, the reason why people actually sit down in these things. They just romanticize the idea about reaching that very top part and then exchanging kisses. And if you are really the wild uh, type, you will just start for playing in it. The Western world just is completely sex decreased. And I'm not spewing gay jokes, it's the truth. Next up is another couple of shops. If I'm not wrong, this is the air hangar, or maybe it's, I think it's the air hangar, the airplane hangar. Maybe it's the tanks, uh, how I'm not sure, but it's a military based uh, building. This is a bridge, nothing more, nothing next, just a bridge. This is your police station. Rockwell County Sheriff. Next. I'll never understand what is so charming about a woman in a one-piece swimsuit. This is Miss Rockwell, the beauty pageant parade, uh, 1959. 
What's exactly beautiful about a woman with short hair in a one piece uh, swimming suit? I don't understand. She is extremely dis disgustingly flat. She looks like a moron because she, she is a moron according to the game's Laura says. But again, for the US, a woman is about her butt and her legs, nothing else. And for me, that's just a, a projectile vomited trigger, because that's completely wrong. Next one here, I think when they captured a Crypto 136. Or maybe someone else, since they say here that a boy pulled something from the lake. But most likely, it is a fjord somehow. A fish boy fry up, halted by arrival of government officials, obviously, because aliens do not exist in the world of destroy all humans. It's always some kind of stupid excuse. Local Irish lad wins a newspaper apprenticeship. Well then, young Mr. Dittmont. Stop thumb sucking. By using a thumb guard, really? Are you that pretty? Well, everything about this game is pretty. Go back. Another ad, Sergeant uh, Pepper. Yeah, just like Dr. Pepper. It's good for you. Keep your chin up. Yeah, whatever. Next, we have the Blue Moon Diner. It's just a diner, nothing more than this. This is the booth for the drive in cinema. The place where you enter, not to watch a film, but to have sex in the car. Two big shoes for the price of one. Dim lights, of course. Please dim, dim your lights. And that's about it. Because people would, are still sex increased. You have your ice cream shop. Concept art. The circus tent where all the clowns are at. And the biggest clown is Miss Rockwell. How do you exactly cherry pick one single woman from the entire herd of uh, women around you? Simple. According to the sort of other humans' uh, logic, you pick the most brainless one of them. The most moronic one. Uh, admirable applications uh, corp. Home of the Baker Master 2600. It has two ovens and you can just use it as you wish. I'm not a salesman. Shooting Gary. Why shoot humans when you can shoot uh, sticks and stuff and win silly prizes that you can actually gain all of them for a couple of dollars, I guess. Next. This is your typical country or maybe city uh, Santa Modesta house. The garage, the main house. That's not it. It's just a typical house. Can you have another shop? A business for sale, whatever. And it's just a model for the game. Next. The merry-go-round. I still remember when I was a kid how I uh, used to beg my parents to let me sit down on the horse, pretend to be a horseman. It was silly, but come on now. Everyone would want to sit on one of them someday. 
for some time. Next up is the Blue Moon Drive-In Cinema logo. The Blue Moon. I like it better get copyrighted for the Smurfs movie. Because why not just claim every single cursed breath we take and we exhale? Martians from Mars, Night of the Naked Girl Monster. Of course, people are coming here for the Naked Girl Monster because who cares about aliens from Mars? This is the concept art for your own saucer. I think the more advanced art with the Death 3. Great. Active. Okay, next. I'm just looking at the graphics by the by this point. This is the cotton candy shop at Rockwell in the circus. If you wish to gaze more at the graphics, just pause the video. I'm just trying to show off to you the models, what they look like, and that's it. Not for too long. We have a laundry shop, some other shops in Central Care. I'm not heading to next pick. Living in the home of tomorrow, uh, to the Rockwell Estate, is, is groundbreaking this winter. Yeah, this is not the, the home of tomorrow. Sorry. The home of tomorrow would be something more future stuff. Just make your imagination run wild. We already see, uh, we have already seen multiple things, but this is not it. And also, this kind of style is just a joke right now. I know it was the stuff back in 1959, but come on now. Why would you marry a woman with short hair? Tell me. Wanted unknown outlaw. Approach with extreme caution. Use of deadly weapons, very dangerous, and uh, will resist arrest. If you have any information concerning this person, please contact your local police station. Reward. We are offering a reward for information leading to the arrest of this person. Crypto. Next. This is a look, I think, from the inside of the battleship, since... Uh, it's very wide, and your own technically scouting ship is uh, sitting in the maintenance, I think. This is what I'd call a future style home. Next, you have a hangar, maybe the soldiers, uh, maybe the soldiers' uh, home, I don't really know. Another building. Next up is the Fashion Square. Curl me crazy. Why do you like curls? The Blue Squirrel Bar. It's some kind of just uh, labels and uh, advertisements. That's it. Next. Comet crashes to Earth. Local pastor. Explains fire and brimstone train up, uh, fire and brimstone rain upon the earth. Police issue warning: folk tend to act a little funny when the moon uh, is full, staying indoors. Uh, Lorem, hold on, I'm trying to read this on here. Let's see here. Uh, Lorem Ipsum de la Sit Amit Cons. Constructor, a sad piece, a tale, sad diam. What is this language? Tempor individual at labor, a donor, a magma, a ficiam, crat, a diam, a vulpus. This is not English. This is not English and it's not, Fran not French. This is, my friend, your own saucer. How it stands up, how Crypto actually uses it, how he sits in it. This is your nice scouting saucer. Some more uh, advertising logos. 
down uh, bank the wild smith and susan's restaurant next you have the ice cream truck ice cream car shaken shakes ice cream shakes whatever they i think they still function even now technically it's just a car with a freezer on its backside and you just purchase from it some ice cream that's it this is the martin electrical shop it sells you radios tvs etc whatever next up here is a typical city side house big um decorative goes uh, sideways instead of just up or down this is your mothership it's one giant saucer with its uh, feet inverted upward and you have one giant cannon uh, at the bottom of it most likely this is what you use to abduct the human swines from the ground to test on them work on them next up here is another uh, just coffee shop i think maybe a diner place where you just enter have a meal and then exit that's it oh gosh i left the stove on with a new uh vulcan 1000 you never need to worry again Really, this is supposed to be an advertisement, whatever. At least for once, they have a ponytail, not a silly looking short hair cut. Whoever, whoever girl has a, a short hair cut and she's um, annoyed with me, do me a favor and tie a noose and kill yourself. I don't care. Yes, I just said it. Do with it. I am a quitter as is. Tasty Pete's Donuts. It's just a donut shop. You have two dollars, two cents for maybe chocolate and whatever, maybe custard. Next. This is Crypto Plushy. For some reason. Yeah, for me. Anyone who has a problem with me, do me a favor and God, I will really love to. I can't keep myself with hand with a dick. Destroy all humans, the official game's logo. One giant mothership that's uh, supposed to just collect DNA if you're on DNA from the inside of the human's swine's DNA. This one is a CMCBS, SMCBS employee assassinated. Police inter, uh, interrupt a botched commie attack. Uh, narcolepsy awareness week begins with a tragedy. Larim uh, Epom Duller will admit. Who, who wrote this? I want to read this. Come Come stream, Sadi Peong, Etier, and Dlam Mummy Hermant, Tempo, Tempor, Envidant, and Lebo, a Dulce Mag Magna, Alicam, Eat, Sediam, Valpus. I can't read this. This is this is gibberish. I'm losing your brain cells while I'm reading it. This is your Santa Modesta docs. Nothing much, just some docs. A place where you build your little uh, boats in it and whatever. Next. Vision for electricity. This is another place where that sells TVs and radios. We just right now went by it in the collection. This one here is a public bathroom, I think. For kids, for adults, men and women, whatever. There you go, you need to, to answer the nature call, go for it. Here you have a water fountain. 
this is mostly is placed at uh, a capital city. Good. Next. What is this? No, seriously, what is this? Is this supposed to be your uh, weapon detonator? The thing that explodes and uh, distorts everything in it, in it from the saucer? I have no idea what this thing is, but it looks just fine. Just some spheres of energy. Okay, what is this? The alphabet is obviously Furon. I have no idea what this thing is. Absolutely no, no idea. But it exists, so whatever. This is the submarine. Yeah, the submarine. I'm not going to sing the song to not to get copyrighted. Just because I exist. You know the song I was about to sing by now. I think maybe these are some prototypes for the saucer. Since I never saw them in the game at all. Maybe you're supposed to change color depending on the weapons. Um, the three, whatever, not sure. Next, Star Diner. This is supposed to be your five stars diner. It's just a simple, normal diner, nothing more than this. And they sell in it your junk food, your trash food. Destroy all humans, PCP001. Crypto Pox, uh, PCP001, BF Games. I think maybe this is a badge. Friday night, a uh, fish fry restaurant. So this is a seafood restaurant. That's not really it. I can't even read the menu. Here you have some uh, docks again from the inside this time. The boat with uh, all the tools you need to prepare to go out and fish. Here you have another house, uh, model, prototype, whatever. Here's the gas station, Redfields uh, Gasoline, City, uh, city uh, Garage. You enter there, check out your car, whatever it is with it. Regular checks, fill in some gas, that's it. This is the ball world, bowling. You like bowling, you go here, uh, play some bowling, and that's it. Nothing much really to talk about. It's a green saucer for some reason. Not sure what this thing is. I didn't see it in the game itself, but looks like it is supposed to be some kind of uh, ammo, maybe, I think maybe ammo, since I didn't really care much to look at these things. Most likely this is ammo for maybe the ammo probe, while the other ones were for the disintegrator and whatnot. Perp cola, it's uh, perp-tastic. I'd rather keep my stomach good, no need to burp too much. This is your um, wooden uh, wall, for some reason. You just make it to have some fences. This is uh, Lowe's uh, Free Parking. <coughs> Basically, this is a diner. You enter it, order food, pay for it, leave, that's it. I'm dreaming of Santa Modesta. Really, miss. At least she has uh, nice hair this time, not the joke for short hair. Besides, this kind of living is really not that much. It's just a building with a pool in the, in the front of it. That's literally it. Nothing too fantastic about it. Next, you have the mothership, 
That's literally it. The mothership inside of it and whatever it is. I think maybe this is behind box when he gives you the upgrades. Since you have uh, crypto to the left side and the saucer to the right side, I can't believe that a single scouting saucer manages to destroy the human race. Scout, not even a military ship. This is Modesta Field. Visitors and home. The baseball game, whatever. You have the prototype and the new version. Go forward. You have here the mecha. The boss fight mecha. The wanzer. It's almost technically the same exact uh, concept art. Next up here we have um, the deep probe that Crypto once used against the Majestic uh, Agent. I have no idea what this thing does. But from the look of the spikes on it, looks like it uh, holds the target's head and reads everything inside the brain. Forcefully. Uh, bran biscuits. Does the milk have to be uh, nutritious, uh, more nutritious than the biscuits? So it's just another uh, advertising ploy. Advertising scam to sell biscuits. This is for you. Some uh, concept art. I have no idea. This time I'm very positive I didn't see this in the game. At all. Unless I saw it, but I didn't even recall it. In which case, I'm just being a more right now. Next, the Mecha, the Wanzers that uh, are powered by human brains, and you need to fry them or destroy them somehow. It's really silly that the Americans in this world and the outsider world take all their ideas from Japan and Germany both, they steal the ideas and weaponize them to themselves and then call them their own. Yeah? As if. Uh, what is this thing? I have no idea, but it looks nice. That's a little bit. Bit of view, front of view, I have no idea what this thing is at all. But it, it just looks fine. These are the majestic uh, EMPs. Their job is to make your life harder and more annoying by releasing electricity that disables your furon um, technology. This is your mothership, I think, mini screen that uh, shows up some holograms about the mothership and its uh, stages. But not. And yeah, according to the scale size, this uh, skin is very big. Next, another ones are uh, concept art. They really wanted uh, to have the mecha robot stuff. Thank you. Next up is uh, Capital City. Um, it's here. This tried your uh, money can buy sixty five dollars. Back when money actually was worth something, unlike now. This is uh, Crypto's uh, disintegrator gun, the yellow gun that he likes very much, I believe. This gun shoots liquid plasma. Yeah, this is the ammo I know about, the yellow ammo. This, my friend, contains um, liquid plasma which is placed right here on the top of the gun. It pours up the entire thing and shoots um, shots that are hotter than the sun lava. 
These shots are meant to burn through anything and everything. Next. Pool party. And you have the safeguard or shark uh, guard build with it here. Okay, next up. This is the turret, the thing that makes us mad and shoots at us automatically. It comes out from the underground and shoots at us to be annoying. Next up is your cannons. This thing is anti-air. It only captures you once you are uh, flying with the jet or the saucer and attacks you with its missiles. That's why it has a satellite on it. Next, it's the General uh, Arquist's army. I want you for the army. Uh, yeah, as if I'm not interested. Thank you very much. This one here is your uh, most joked about stupid joke in this series the anal probe. It has in it the tentacles and whatnot. It shoots a spike up your ass and extracts your brain from it. Why is it the most joked upon around? Because Americans just love to rip men up their butts and to extract their brains. That's it. Okay, let me quickly check on obvious just in case. Uh, obvious. One hour and 11 minutes so far. Okay, continue on going here. Uh, nudism is not allowed on the beach. And uh, sand castles are prohibited as well. Wow. Talk about uh, party poopers. And this here, if you saw my alt tab, I have the walkthrough open. So whatever, I don't really care about it that much. I opened the guide to collect the probes we needed. This is your broken probe uh, prototype that runs away from you and throws the DNA samples that you, you need to collect. This here is, uh, I think, a prototype again. The, this is the ammo for the brain, uh, for the anal probe. You're technically attacking a parasitic ma machine that attracts the brains and takes them. Yeah. You are that nasty. This is uh, one, uh, the one more, I think, of your uh, sorcerer's weapons. Green. The ionizer, maybe the last weapon you unlock. I doubt this is the Super Circuit Blast. Atomic Bomb Bank Park. Feel on the top of the world, on the world this year. Watch real nuclear explosions while drinking atomic cocktails and live the most beautiful atomic spectacular life, 100%. You have some sick madness, Philia, for uh, atomic blasts. After all, they are the ones, the, they are the one invention that takes lives the most, so it's very much American for the one to fall in love with them. Living the life of a terrorist. This is just a broken building military uh, for military use. Not in the system the building. This is an electrical coil that does something. We had to break them before they were ignited previously. This is your uh, cloning chamber. 
According to what uh, Fox said previously, Furans are immortal because they keep uh, cloning themselves over and, over and over again while injecting in themselves all the information that their previous clones had before they died because they lack the ability to re reproduce. Speaking of which, Silhouette was very mad at you in the main reason was because Furans are all male. Believe it or don't. Furans are all guys. They don't have any females. That's why they can't reproduce. They just keep cloning themselves non-stop. And by every single clone, they, they degenerate further and further from the original clone. Silhouette believed that the male race as a whole is inferior to the female race. Because males are aliens and females are just uh, divinity, as if, whatever. This here is your military tower. Just a, t a wooden tower with a gun inside it. Because you can never have enough guns. This here is your uh, military missile launcher. Anti-air. They are usually used against either the jetpack or your saucer. When they are, f when they fire at your saucer, you can easily just use your uh, shield to repel them. This is the oldest style computers I believe there was. Maybe uh, some radio stations. I'm not really sure. Next up here, you have I Want You for the Army poster again by uh, uh, General Army Quest Army. This is the rocket launch, the atomic bomb rocket launch that uh, at a hit by accident, Crypto 136. Just a normal building. The bank, City Bank of Santa Modesta. This here is your uh, general offices in the area 42, if I'm not mistaken. This here, I have no idea what this thing is. No idea, no clue. This is the electrical wall that if we touched it, it will uh, most likely disable our uh, weapons and break our shield. Yeah, you see here the sign. This electrocutes furons. This is the gadget that Fox uses to communicate with us. Most likely a hologram, um, tiny saucer. This is your military all days uh, radar. radar. Because, as per usual, the U.S. believes that everyone on Earth hates it so much it wishes to start a war with everyone else. So, you need to be careful at all times, waiting for an attack that will never come. <coughs> Pardon? And, when attacks never come, they just start conflicts and claim self-defense when the truth is, is they are the aggressors this is one big uh, machine gun that's what the boss fight with armstrong army quest used I have no idea what caliber this thing is, but it was very painful. More um, if you're on a style shooting uh, gallery for training, 
aim for the head and the chest. This thing here, I think it's the main radar building because um, it has a very big radar in the, in the top of it. This is the silo test site with the atomic head. I have no idea what this thing is, but maybe it's a silo for the inside since you have a tiny window with radars and whatnot. Another uh, equipment that you see in the game. I have no idea what this thing is for. This is uh, maybe a testing tower. The last time we went to this one of these, so we found the samples that were taken from the crash site of 136. This is the gun silhouette used. It uses a Fururon technology. She uses, I think, two guns, not one. Yeah, two guns. And uh, both of them, when she uses them, we had us in a bullet hell scenario. More military style equipments. This is your supersonic atta attacker uh, weapon. How it opens from the scout ship and then is deployed to attack with supersonic waves. Secret lab destroyed. Insurgent. Uh, targets civilian lab cure for world hunger research halted yeah as if government announces rising demands for skilled research staff this here is your artwork again for inside the lab where uh, the saucer was taken to alongside with your uh, predecessors Corpse. Enlist now, built for the army, whatever. I'm not sure why they had this madness for the army. They wanted to fight the Russians so much. This is inside your mothership. Nothing more than this, just literally the inside of the mothership. This is the broken saucer that from which they stole the Furon technology. Another scout ship. This here is Pox's own chair. The place where Pox sits down and gives you orders. Yeah, that's it, really. The military tower for radar readings, I think. Let me watch out. Look out. The taste of elegance, really. Pomo Noir. Cigarettes are not good for your health at all. This is... Uh, Crypto 136. How they opened him up and discovered what's, what's inside of him. This is the cage where Crypto 137 was at when he was captured. Next one here is uh, Uranium Blast. Make your own atomic explosion 100% safe as if. Create over 150 explosions with real uranium. <coughs> this was a real toy. Back in the day. 
imagine it. So quick check on OBS. One hour and a half almost. Let's see how many we have still left of this. This is the X3 of a few run. They have very small lungs. I have no idea what the, everything else here is. They only have four fingers. Mostly the same structure of a human almost. But the one thing that this makes them stand before uh, above us is the bigger brain. Uh, Sigmund 180. Experience the freedom. Yeah. Of what? Just um, running around in your car, that's it. What freedom are you talking about? This is Crypto's uh, skin. I'm not sure which one. Maybe a prototype because it's not like this in the game. He used to be a brown area, looks like. Not a green one. This is your uh, third weapon, I take it. I don't believe I uh, G-Man Energy Pistol. I don't remember seeing this in the game. Unless it was the last weapon we unlocked, but that one shoots not uh, needles, but rather bombs. Most likely a prototype that was never uh, added into the game. Alpine Mist, the cold one. American's Beverage Company. Whatever. This is just an ad. This is uh, Crypto in It skin. Not a fan. This is your Union Town. Nothing much, that's just an entire sky of smoke and uh, military and whatnot. Nothing much to look at. This is your uh, Tmilter chimney. That's it. It's just a chimney. This is the ship, the Salty Titan, we boarded to get back our stuff. I think it's a parody above, uh, of the Titanic. Not really sure. This is our uh, gastro, the ship's uh, janitor. Gastro holds records and uh, cleans up the area. I think he's the maintenance guy. You see here the cleaning tool, the English uh, wrench, his uh, helmet. He's just a normal fuel engineer, that's it. This is uh, J and B. Uh, bistro. Ice cold uh, K spear. A bar. Nothing more than that than this. Just a bar. This is gastro again. Um, a little bit of um, closing. Zoom, zoom in. Close by. I'm not sure if he's still a few on or if uh, this is just his outfit. Looks more mechanical to me. This is uh, Crypto flying towards an island of something. Just some uh, atmospheric art. This is Muds, the brand Dog's Love. Brand. This is. Uh, Union Town's um, place where uh, your uh, saucer was shut down before crypto was uh, kidnapped. Here is uh, crypto in it skin. Just a cloud crypto. This thing, I think, is the gun 
that the scientists took the blood sample from crypto using it to learn and study the furon's blood samples it very much resembles the blood needle little sisters from bioshock use enjoy the delicious treat uh, yamo plastic bag just an ice cream ad kids can be won over by just using lots of sugar this is the general arms uh, army quests uh, ones are the mecha lots of uh, firepower lots of uh, rocket power the only thing that it lacks is mental power no brains this here is another prototype uh, weapon this time the needle is in the front of the gun more and more smoother design i think the rifle i doubt we also saw this one before but maybe we already saw it i'm not really sure i didn't use that one much of it this here is the greatest spectacle ever outlaw ranger i think this is just a cinema show no man ever drew on him and lived yeah sure as if whatever this here is your concept art or maybe the models for union town maybe capital city i'm not really sure but it's just a shop district this one is from area i think no this one we already uh, used them the bomb uh, balloons were used against us so many times when we fought with the robo press spy plane shut down president demands a budget increase to flight uh, red menace to fight red menace miss union town loses to miss rockwell passionate to world peace speech fails to win over the judges <laughs> bro if you really wish to gain world peace you need to disarm all the atomic bombs completely you need to defund completely all the military power and you need to truly stop fighting among your human swine race which will never happen because some morons just can't live without killing This gun, I think maybe it's a prototype for the disintegrator, or maybe something else. Not really sure. Don't remember seeing it often in the game itself. But since it has its own ammo with it, maybe it's another prototype. I'm not really sure. Next up, we have Attack of the Space Squid Terror Strikes. It's not aliens, just humans just have some degenerate philia for being uh, raped multiple times with the squids. This here is concept art for the weather change in guy think. Maybe this is capital city? I'm not really sure. Maybe. This is just some dynamite with a timer bomb that's not it okay let's see what do we have here i think this is the senator's massacre building the area where the stupid meetings are held the meetings that never do anything at all and just show off to the nation as if they are actually doing something when in truth nothing actually happens this is another district with multiple shops that's at it this here is uh candy 
vote and choose integrity and honesty uh, re-elect US President Huffman for better country uh, Bennett for president for peace and security register and vote now I swear if you just elected a cat a literal cat it would have ruled the entire nation better than a human would ever be able to at least a cat it is not a bot kisser like a dog wolford wolford's wolford's is that it, the name of the yeah this thing shop building whatever i keep saying whatever because i have really no idea what i'm looking at it's just a building holiday isle of the tropics the airline of the united states leading the world in air transport flight to cuba you do realize for a fact that the u.s is not the leading in the world in everything shape we for they just seek what works and takes it in it is not the whole world this is your parking um, toll just a little guard house uh, pursuit in the night the most exciting movie of the year yeah sure before the jump scares were invented Thanks God for that. This is another building, a tower with a dome on the top of it. The Golden Dome, a place that we actually didn't even visit because it was needless to do so. The Golden Ball above it. We just used it as a landmark. This thing here is Finkelstein's building. Maybe it's uh, office building, something else. This is the one with the lots of uh, flagpoles above it for some reason. Next. Building the city of the future as if coming soon to capital city. This is what they wanted to do to copy the fuel on technology that they stole from us. Next up. Capital Bookstore. We have some comics, Night Terror, uh, Barbarian, Robot Invasion, Action Boy, Space Fantasy, Science Adventure, The Mutant, A Weird Story. That's literally it. I think it Barbarian is He-Man, Robot Invasion is uh, Terminator, Action Boy most likely is Shazam. The Mutant is obviously um, the thing from the Fantastic Four. Weird Story is Batman's uh, Dr. Freeze. Uh, space Fantasy. Not sure. Maybe Star Trek. Science Adventure, D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. Not Terror. No idea. The uh, number of titles for the zombie uh, boxes in in this panel. Here's the area where I think the hexagon was once, but it blew up. Not sure, but let's say we when we fought Sarot with uh, Sarot. This is the concept art for a uh, Robo Prez, the ultimate mecha wanzer. Very gigantic. America inflated octagon locks down search for a pint sized spy in progress. Government uh, announces increase in demand for skilled research staff. This is another. Uh, this is, I think, the prototype for the uh, Robo Prez's arm how he files his letters and opens and whatnot i have no idea what this thing is at all it's just something hidden beneath the ground that's it 
I don't know what it is. What is it? Robo praises. Um, what's it that? All these designs are screaming at me Japanese because it is literally Japanese. And once they thought about making the prison female as well. How oh, funny. Um, just a mic. Maybe uh, a mic. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is. This is the Furan extractor that, by the end of the game, humans are enforced to enter for some reason. I have no idea what it does, but it most likely harvests more DNA points somehow. This here is the concept art for Crypto with his uh, trademark Garai ticket. And his sit back. So, originally the jetpack was supposed to come outside of your back pack somehow. The gun and some more designs. Some blueprints for your scout uh, saucer. Good. This is your uh, Zapomatic, the main default uh, gun. Technically, it uh, recharges itself by itself. And it just fires lightning. And it looks nice while well, it does. Yeah, I can't believe it, but we're done. We are literally done. We're back to the farmer's house. We're done. Go back to the archives. We're done. Hobok discs. The game is done. Uh, Furan uh, object box. We're done. We are done. We are completely done. We're done. Uh, challenges. I'm not interested in anymore. There's no point in playing the challenges anymore since we already finished the game completely. We're done. We are actually literally done. We finished. We're done. So this is uh, the last part of the... This is officially the last part of the... Game itself. The guide. I showed you everything that is to be seen. From concept art to, to all the locations for all the probes, I'd like to give a special thanks for Trophy Gamers channel for putting the guides, all of them, for the people in need for them. Guides for uh, humans one and two and other many other games. Most likely, I'll place their uh, guides links in the description for the videos but anyway yeah we're done we are officially done this is the second and final part for the bonus since we are officially finished this game now can literally be put down because we showed you all the locations for all the probe harvests and we showed you also why you would need them but we also showed you the fact that even if you were to collect all the probe harvests um it will not give you enough money to purchase anything because the probe harvests give you eighteen thousand and five hundred dna points that's it while upgrading crypto and his saucer to the maximum Miss from you 20 million DNA points. We're done, literally. With that being said, I think this will be it for today's session. I would like to pray peace be upon all of my subscribers and commentators, followers, fans, and friends. 
everyone from the beasts of the Atlantic Empire and everyone from the Discord server for YouTube friends by name peace be upon Thunderstruck Gaming, B809 Gaming, Marcus, Tato Crash, Buck, IC, Double Y, Rogage and Carol, Dan, Cryfield, ZPTV123, Matthew, Elevate, Ron, Sagata, Call 85, Bob Express, Sparafan28, Sawi, and the Screw Me, Crazy Dragons412, Heavy Metal Driver666, and Tosco. This has been with you, your host, Invisible from Invisible's Gaming Channel, giving a stage for the stages and the voice for the verses. And this has been with you, the final content for. Project Let's Play Destroy All Humans 1 Remake for the PC. Till next time, whenever that will be, make sure to stay here for stealth and stay safe. We are living in a mess, it's unforgiving, unforgivable hell. Anything can happen. Make sure to keep your friends and family close to you. Keep your enemies even closer. You don't know where you need help or where come from. Make sure to give a credit and gratitude what they do. It is much easier and simpler to thank others for the favors for you than it is to give flowers for the graves of the dead. Next project is going to be officially hacknet for the PC. We'll see you next time. Take care, Mr. Fuck. Invisible with you, sign out. It's about time for us to go ahead and upload this offline recorded for us uh, videos. One last uh, piece of information. Even though crypto starts with the Zapomatic weapon for electrifying humans, it has been told that his favorite weapon is the disintegrator. He loves very much to shoot plasma than electricity.